I'll be continuing my look at Silent X's Aphysio line of heat sinks with the latest, the Performance series. So like the others, it is designed for quiet performance, less than 18 decibels. And this one says quietest noise levels, uh, just like all the others. I've already had a look at the Compact as well as the Extreme over there, and we're just waiting to do these last two. So let's have a look at the specifications here. You can pause the video and read them if you so desire. Weighs about a half a kilogram, so that is about, uh, I'm, I, I'm roughing this, so like three quarters of a pound or so. You've got three six millimeter heat pipes, so that is substantially less than the Extreme Series cooler, although it is less expensive. So these are making direct contact with the bottom of the CPU, or the top of the CPU. So that means you do get slightly better thermal performance that way. It is using a Silent X fan, as well as a new... Excuse me, a new universal mounting system. Now you've got a bunch of CPU logos here that shows all the different CPUs it can mount on, which include AM2, AM2+, AM3, LGA775, LGA1156, LGA1366, and all of the CPUs that go in those sockets. And I'm trying to get the heatsink out. So let's go ahead and have a look at the accessory package. Now that I've already looked at one of the lower end coolers and the highest end cooler from this series, I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is going to be a fairly similar loadout of equipment here. Although I do see one difference already. Unlike its brethren, this one uses fan clips instead of the, uh, the little rubber mounts. So it's a slight difference there. Uh, then you've got a fan speed controller, which was included with the others, your AMD mounting hardware, a thermal compound tube, uh, double-sided Velcro for mounting the fan controller. And you've got some mounting hardware, screws and thumb screws and washers and such. Then you have the universal backplate, which is compatible with all the sockets I listed before. And that pretty much does it for accessories. So let's have a look at the cooler itself. Ooh, that's really thin. Okay, I can tell you right off the bat, I don't like this one quite as much as the others, although I don't know what the retail price is going to be. One thing that appeals to me right off the bat, though, this, this really does, is the fact that it's shaped like a radiator. I don't know why I care about that, but you can see that what Silent X is trying to do here is they're trying to focus all of the cooling, just like with the Extreme, uh, on the places where the fan blades are actually going to blow on them. So you see, you hold the fan here. So they haven't wasted any material. They're going ahead and they're taking all of the cooling potential of this. They're going to dissipate a little bit of heat with this. It'll get some incidental airflow from the fan. And then basically they're taking the middle of the CPU they're taking the heat away from it, and they're putting it right in the way of where the fan is going to be blowing the most air. So that means not here, not here, right here, right in that uh, wheelhouse, so to speak. All right, so let's, um, oh, this is interesting. So they've actually got little grommet spots on here for those rubber mounts, but they haven't included them for some reason. So we're going to go ahead and mount our fan using a... Uh, using the clip mounting system, so go ahead and just throw that on there. It doesn't have an anti-vibration mount, so that's one thing that um, could probably be improved about this particular product. And let's see if I can figure out how to use these on camera. It's always fun when I try and figure out stuff on camera because, like, believe it or not, it's hard. I do have something else to concentrate on here. I take a lot of flack for not figuring things out right away on camera, but uh, yeah, it's hard. It's harder than it looks. I'll tell you that much. Okay, so maybe that goes there, and maybe this goes here. I've never liked these fan clips. I think it's Thermal Right that started this nonsense. It doesn't seem like, you know, the most uh, intuitive, user-friendly way to mount things, but, um, I mean, I guess it kind of works. There we go. It's on. I don't know if I did it right, but it's on there, for better or for worse. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Put the other fan clip on and see if I've actually got that right now. But you might notice as I flip the heatsink over is that it's not actually flat. I'm just going to make sure that it doesn't go this way. Maybe it does. Maybe it goes this way. Maybe I did it wrong. Hold on. Does that go there? Huh. It seems to kind of work either way. So I mounted those two different ways, I think. But uh, they, they both hold the fan on pretty good. So whatever. Okay, anyway. It's actually at an angle, and 
I'm going to go ahead and speculate, although I can't say this for certain, that the reason for that is they want to get a little bit more incidental airflow blowing at the MOSFET cooler. So you'd probably want to position this, if you have a typical case, you'd probably want to position it this way, so that it's blowing down a little bit towards the coolers at the back of, at the, back of the motherboard. Here, I'll show you an example of what I mean on... Uh, this is an ASUS motherboard. So you see that uh, MOSFET cooler in there, the blue and gray one? So if you position this cooler so that it actually sits on the motherboard this way, it would blow down towards those, keeping your motherboard cooler and hopefully keeping the components on there more reliable and uh, overall happier. So we've got a fan on here. We have, uh, I already talked a lot about the, uh, the positioning of the heat pipes because really, I mean, you can throw more heat pipes at the problem, but ultimately if you don't carry the heat to somewhere where you're going to be able to dissipate it, it's not going to do you any good. So we're going to do our obligatory finger shot where you can see that it's nice and flat even across these heat pipes that are machined right into the base. We have our universal hold down here. We've also got a little heat sink here for dissipating a little bit more heat, which I've seen featured on the other coolers in this series already. We've got the, um, the slightly dimpled fins, which I talked a lot about in the extreme overview and unboxing. And that gives us a little bit more surface area for slightly better cooling compared to just a, a flat aluminum fin. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Silenex Ephysio Performance CPU heatsink.